Hey, what's up? I'm Ines Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to create text bubbles just like in this preview. Alright, so we're going to take a look on how to design the bubble, how to add a text and how to track the scene and put our bubbles in there. We're not going to take a look on how to do the bouncy effect um, because that's another tutorial. And if you don't wish to follow this tutorial or you want to support our YouTube channel, we actually prepared a project file with link in the description which you can buy, which is actually going to include the bounce effect. It's also going to be able to be modified very easily, changing the width and the height. It contains a neutral bubble, a left side bubble, a right side bubble and you can easily tweak the colors as well so it's kind of a template uh, designed for uh, when you work with a lot of um, bubbly kind of videos so uh, links will be put in the description definitely check it out it also includes a tutorial on how to use it and for those that do want to know how a bubble is created let's get started <laughs> And I prepared a file here, the footage will drag this into a new composition. This you can actually download with a link in the description so you can follow along with the exact same footage. So it's just a smooth movement uh, while I'm texting on my phone. Uh, so you can actually implement these tag bubbles um, later on in this video. So the first thing that we'll do is go to the tracker right here. If you don't see that, go to window tracker uh, right here and we're going to click on the track camera. So once that is doing its job, we're going to open the advanced. I'm just going to check this and let it do its, uh, well, let it do its thing. So I'm going to create a new composition right now and I'll make this text bubble 01, okay. Make it also full HD, why not? And then click okay. And right here, I'm just going to get started. So I'm going to uncheck the transparency so we actually see this properly. And then I will go to my shape tool right here and take a rounded rectangle tool. I will just drag a simple rectangle just like this. And then you can open up the rectangle right here. You can go into the rectangle path and you can play around with your roughness, uh, the roundness, I'm sorry. So something like 50 should do fine. And then right here you can uncheck the size and just go ahead and change everything right here. So. And this is how to work with the text bubble. In the project file that you can actually buy for the text bubbles, I made it so that you can just scale it from the left side. Uh, it doesn't really matter for this tutorial. Uh, you just make a text bubble just like this. Make it the size you want it to be. So maybe a little bit smaller like so. And there we go. All right, so that looks pretty good. I'm going to click away and go to my pen tool. Now I'm going to zoom in here. And what I want to do is actually click right here then click over here and just make something like so. Hold shift to make it nice and yeah, just make it snap uh, on the 90 degrees angle. And then I'm going to hold alt and I'm going to drag this in right here. Then I'm going to click right over here and then I'm going to click at this first point, hold shift and also drag this in right here. Then you hold alt again and just drag this in again. So we have a nice kind of arrow just like this. Then we're going to take our selection tool and just drag this. Well, uh, just make sure that you're actually selecting the shape. We're going to drag this around over here. So what you can do is make uh, try to make sure that it's kind of aligning properly here. What you can do is hold control and press R on the keyboard and then just drag this right over here so you can actually have a guide on how it actually looks and this kind of looks pretty good so I'm going to take it away press ctrl R again so now we have our first text bubble you can go and modify this maybe you want to bring in that point a little bit more so that's completely up to you uh, right here so we can choose this point and just move it a little bit more like this maybe a little bit shorter and yeah just go and take whatever you want and then what you can do is uh, duplicate this um, go and right click transform horizontal and then you have one well if you go to the selection tool you can move one right here so then you have the other side so now you can toggle this one off and we have our text bubble so what I want to do is click on these two layers and I want to go for layer pre-compose and we're going to rename this to bubble 01 Okay, so now we can go and apply an effect, generate, fill, and here you can give it this color that you want. So maybe you want a nice light gray, or maybe you want to go for that green color and click OK. Then take your text tool, click over here, and just write something. 
I'm going to use the font Lado right here and I'm going to use the regular type. You can download this for free online. It's a free font uh, that you can find on Google. I'm going to uh, choose a black color and just make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so this starts to look okay. And we have our text right here. Try to match it nicely in the center. And there we have it. So we have our text maybe a little bit smaller, 65 maybe. Okay. So it's completely up to you. You can use real photos of your cell phone to um, yeah, use as a reference to make it match up in size and stuff like that. So, um, but basically this is what you want to do. Then you can go to the text tool again, click over here, and maybe you want to write like Ineos Alea wrote this slash slash um, at 10 in the morning. And there we go, and change this to a white color. So this is what I wrote uh, just now, and we can select it and change this to a line now. So we have a little bit of variation, make it a lot smaller. There we go. And now you can position this like right over here. So now I'm sending this in the morning, okay. So you can reposition everything just using the arrows right here. And what you want to do then is go over here, go to the title and action safe, select everything and just try to reposition this nicely in the center. So I think something like this seems about fine. What you can do as well is like center it out like this, but I think I'm going to center it out on, its, on itself. Okay, so I think this is nicely centered and there we go. So now we have our first text bubble and now we can go to the project manager again. We can duplicate our text bubble 01 and text bubble, well, bubble 01 right here. Go to edit, duplicate, and now we have a second um, bubble. So open up the text bubble 02, click right here on the bubble 01, click in the project manager on bubble 02 and just hold alt and drag it on here. So now you can go ahead and just maybe, um, well, add this shape right here. So I'm going to cut it and paste it in here. So we have uh, the other side here. I'm going to check this on. And of course, you'll have to move it up. So now you have the other side. We can delete this part. So for text bubble 02, we have this one. Maybe this one should be the green one and this should be uh, the gray one. So I'm going to change the bubble 01 to a light gray color. And let's see how the text actually looks when we give it a white color. Okay, so this looks fine. I'm going to use these two bubbles and I'm going back to my main composition. I'm going to use to, well, go to my project manager and just put in the text bubble 01 here. Okay, so I'm going to toggle the switches, click on my text footage, go to the effects controls and we'll see that our 3D camera tracker has done its job. And what we want to do is just go to a position where we want the text bubble to actually be. So I like this depth in 3D space. I'm going to select a few of these um, buttons here or points. I'm going to right click and create a null object and camera. So now I want to click on my text bubble 01 and make this a 3D layer as well. If you don't see this, just toggle the switches right here. Now press P on the keyboard for that layer, click on the null object and also press P on the keyboard. What you will see is that this has a value of 7000 and right here it's zero in depth. So I'm going to click on the Z depth right here for the uh, text bubble. I'm going to paste that exact same number that we have in our null. So of course you're going to get, uh, well, you're going to lose this um, composition right here. It's right here. So I'm going to move it to the side and I'm going to press S on the keyboard and just scale it as you need it to be. You can also go to the rotation tool and rotate it as you want it to be in your screen. Just move it a little bit like so. Move it up maybe. And there we have it. So now it's going to follow along with the scene, which is pretty cool. So we can duplicate this footage. So click on it, go to edit, duplicate. We're going to use the project manager, click on the text bubble 02, alt click and hold alt and just drag it over the text bubble 01. And just move this one up. You can actually hold shift to uh, move something a little bit quicker. And offset it a little bit to the, to the right, okay. 
Another thing that you can do is jump into these text bubbles and go to the title right here. So we have Ines Alea, and this is going to be someone else. So let's say this is Mark. Mark, and uh, we're going to apply a drop shadow as well. So we're going to click on that layer, go to layer pre combo. Uh, well, what I'm saying, layer styles drop shadow. Okay open the drop shadow and just uh, change the settings as you desire. I think this looks all right. Okay. Um, maybe we want something like three and a size of two. And there we go. Click on the drop shadow, go to edit copy. And I'm going to paste this to the, uh, the other bevel text as well. So right here when I'm, yeah, right here on Ineos. Edit, paste. And I'll go back to the original footage and you'll see that this text is going to be a little bit easier to be, uh, well, to read. So let's do a preview. Okay, so this looks pretty cool. What you can do now is, um, well, you can do multiple things. You can just make them fade in or you can go right here to your pen behind tool and just move this right here to the corner. Press S, uh, well, S on the keyboard. We already have the scale right here. And click on the stopwatch for the scale. Move this just a few frames and set it to zero on the first frame. So now it's going to scale up like this from this position. Click on the last keyframe, right click, keyframe assistance, easy ease, and maybe open up the graph editor and just drag it in like so. And now you're going to have something like this. So this is pretty cool as well. We're going to copy these keyframes, control C, and then to the text bill 02, control V. And then we can offset this right here in our timeline. And again, right here for the text bubble, you can jump into uh, the text bubble, go to your layer style and go to the contents right here and just rearrange uh, the size here. So we're going to make it a little bit shorter. And again, we have this right here and then just offset it. And actually, we want the text to outline on the end right here. Okay. And there we have how to create a text bubble in Adobe After Effects. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like. Also, subscribe to the channel for more. And if you're a filmmaker or motion graphics artist, definitely check out our website. We have a bunch to offer, a lot of assets, presets, really cool stuff. Check out our website. All the links will be put in the description. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.